What's up, Internet? It is snowing! Hooray! Um, no mail. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I didn't do this yesterday, I apologize for that, but I also streamed for two hours yesterday because of Mario. And I haven't done Mario yet today. Unfortunately, I went really, really sick, so... I'll be doing that before I go to bed, so that'll probably be in another hour or two. I don't know how long we're gonna do this one for, but, uh... Yeah, so so that's just sort of what's what's been going on. But that's it. I also have a two-hour stream of Mario. I think you can find something to enjoy in that, possibly. But anyway, let's head on to the train and see what's going on in the next town. Because there's not much going on here, evidently. I quite like that grass shirt, actually. That's It's a neat little bit of... Um, you know, an outfit. It's not a cool shirt, mind you, but it is a cool shirt. And it's helpful if you want to blend into your environment, you know, provided that your environment happens to have triangle-shaped grass. Unfortunately, I think there's like six different types of grass. There's, uh, triangle, uh, circles, I believe stars and squares. Uh, there might be a couple more in there. I think. I, I'm just going off the top of my head. So this won't actually allow you to blend into your environment unless your environment actually happens to have the environment that matches your shirt. But still, under certain circumstances, it might help you blend in. Which would make me think that it would be something that Camo Frog would really, really want. And yet, I don't think I've ever seen him wear a grass shirt. I think it is a Gracie shirt, but I'm not entirely sure. I want to say there's like 24 different Gracie shirts. There's quite a few. So it's entirely possible this is one of them and we just didn't get it before. But I still think the best ones are, of course, the Gracie top and the cool shirt because it is a very cool shirt. But there are a couple really nice ones as well. The uh, Halloween one is kind of nice. Uh, the ladybug looking one. But I still think the best one is the cool shirt and the Gracie shirt. But this is up there as well. Unfortunately, it does not currently match our environment and we might stick out a little bit. So our plan of being the ultimate hide-and-seek master, well, it, it doesn't quite work as well, because first of all, it doesn't match the ground, because it's got the stars, and we've got the triangles, and of course, we're in bright green. Which kind of sticks out against the white background a little bit. Now, uh, I gotta get rid of some stuff to sell some stuff. Uh, I need some papers. What? Okay. We're gonna empty our pockets what we can, buy some paper, and make some room. I think that will be a good plan and a decent place to start. So let's sell some stuff to Mr. Nook. Like that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and this. And some decent bells, considering we don't have any fossils to sell today. We'll take some paper. Actually, I'm curious. Mr. Nook, answer me a question very, very quickly. Let's see. No, I want to talk to you. Let me see my catalog. Actually, while we're here, there's something else I'd like to see as well. How are gyroids doing? Still missing like three. And still missing one paper. Fortunately, we do not have a full set of paper just yet. I'm not sure which one we're missing, though. Well, we got a painting, except we have all the paintings, so that does nothing for us. Yeah, nothing really here for us right now. They really want to sell that shelf. Like, I I know I wasn't doing this yesterday, but the previous couple days, they kept selling that yellow shelf, and we don't need that shelf. I think in Wild World there was a similar shelf that was blue that had a GameCube on it. Like, that would be a shelf worth having, but that generic yellow one, no thanks. Throw that away. Throw this away. And throw that away. Good. Now we can write to the museum. And write more to the museum. 
The museum will have so many letters of adoration filled with fossils by the end of this. Alright. Now we plonk that down, grab this, plonk this down. Grab this, plonk it down here. And finally this one. And that, I think, leads us to the next thing we need to, which is to go talk to Phyllis. Ooh, detour. Before we do that, let's see if there's any treasure. Weather report. And Pierce buried something. But no new treasure to be found. But we can go talk to Phyllis. As we clean up the ground a little bit. Like that. And that. And I think that's pretty clean. Okay. Phyllis, I have got to give you four letters, which is good because you can only store four because you have to maintain ever vigilance against that one letter that can never be delivered or else the world will destroy itself. For this. And I shall deliver this. And finally, this one shall be delivered as well. It has all been delivered now, Phyllis. You go wake up, Pete. See ya, Phyllis. Alright. So that's done. I guess it's time to see if anyone wants anything to do. Hey, a snowball. That's worth noting that that's there. Cookie! I'm not avoiding you. I'm not from this town. <laughs> Just because you don't see me all day doesn't mean I'm avoiding you. It means I'm not from this town. And I have to take a train to get here. It takes a while, okay? Don't yell at me. Uh, okay, uh, I gotta talk to Tangy. Now again, the problem could be that any one of these NPCs we need to talk to could be manning an igloo. Which kinda makes things tricky for us. But if I recall, I actually have to talk to an NPC from the other day who was manning an igloo, or at least I couldn't find them. I think it might have been Ketzel. So we might swing by Ketzel's place and hope that's at least kind of correct. Hey, a gyroid. Hey, warbloid. They warble. Alright, well that was a quick quest. Let's run this back to Cookie and go check with Ketzel. That sounds like a lovely little plan. Let's not destroy that snowball. No! Okay, they don't hate each other. This might mean I might get freebies! And freebies are awesome. Aw, oh, you could have given me an umbrella cookie. Just a thought. If you don't want to carry it, I'll take it, and then probably sell it to Nook, but still. Hey, stationery. You know, I am missing a type of stationery. Is that the one I'm missing? Please say it is. You seem pretty upbeat, Pierce. Maybe you'll give me something for free. Free is nice. I can afford free. I'll take your word on that there, Pierce. Okay, I think I had to talk to Ketzel. I think. Oh, Tangy grabbed it. Okay, so I at least kind of remembered that there was something I needed to do. So for once, I actually remembered a thing. Hooray! Out of the way, fish. Out of the way, fish. Out of the way, Caesar. I must talk to Tangy yet again because she continues to ruin things for people. Alright, there she is. Tangy! Okay, so this goes to Velma. And now Velma won't yell at me for not completing her quest. Had I just gone and talked to Velma, she probably would have. So we kind of ultimately succeeded in making someone's day. In a rather roundabout way. Velma! I have the thing I'm supposed to deliver to you that I need to deliver to you a couple days ago. Sorry, it's a little late. 
Hey, furniture. Very generous there, Roma. Thank you. What did we get? Hey, a garbage can. I feel like that's making a statement. But, whatever. Peaches! Give me something to do, Peaches. Okay, I'll talk to you next time. Alright, so. Talk to all these people. I haven't talked to Tangy about a quest yet. Well, we haven't talked to Tangy if she has a quest yet. That seems like a logical next step. Nope. Nothing for Tangy. We can probably talk to Copper at some point and see if there's any events going on. I guess our next stop will be Goldie's, so. though. Goldie! Nope, nothing for Goldie either. Alright. And Chow's not here. Interesting. It could be that he's manning an igloo. If that's the case, I recall grumpy characters are pretty good as well as uh, nice girl villagers. So that could mean that we could actually get some decent igloo rewards today. Assuming that's what he's doing, of course. Hey, Sahara's here. Unfortunately, we don't have a carpet as far as I'm aware. In that we don't have a carpet at all. I was correct. Get rid of that. Camo Frog! I'm more camouflage than you, Camo Frog. At least I'm not wearing purple. Oh, no one has anything for us to do. And Cube is missing. Concerning. Oh, I'm not seeing anything here. Oh, there's Chow. Okay. Now, if I recall, it was either Athletics or Lazies that are like the worst igloo games ever. Which could mean that if Cube is manning an igloo, again, assuming that's what he's doing, that we could get some terrible rewards, or at least terrible opportunities for rewards. So we probably just skip it if it's Cube, or I probably won't make more than one or two attempts. Alright, that was a nice, right, quick little quest. I can get back to Chow pretty quick. Thanks, Tangy. Alright, let's get this all the way back to Chow. Chow! Here you go. Hey, more stationery. Again, might be the one we're missing. I don't think it is. I think it's probably a special one we're missing, but still. Actually, no. I, I was going to say, you know what we're probably missing is the birthday card, but I played during my birthday last year, so that probably isn't it. I mean, there's a cake in my house. So logically, that shouldn't be the case. I don't know what it is, then. Come on, Gulliver. Get up. Come on. I'm trying to, but you need to help yourself. Wow, Gulliver is just not wanting to actually stand up today. Nope. It's amazing he's got so many responses, but he doesn't do anything unless he has one of them. Yep, I totally rescued you. Give me something. Okay. Did we get 
it this time? Is it another mysterious thing we've never gotten before? Who knows? Lady Liberty. Nope, we got it before. Not the most interesting prize either. Hey, there's a heart and an igloo. Interesting. And it's being run by a lazy villager, which means this is going to be terrible. Okay, we'll play a game. I don't want a baby bear, though. You're thinking of a pear. Unfortunately, this means the odds of getting something good without spending everything I have, or even, you know, getting anything good, period, is really bloody unlikely. So we'll give it one or two more tries. He might change his mind after the fact, though. So he's not committed to any of this. No. That's a terrible price for a gyroid. That's even worse, and it's the exact same thing you offered last time. Yeah, okay. I could have, but you would have said no. And at least this way, I made a profit. But I want the chowder! If I'm being at home, I'm gonna eat the chowder, damn it. You forgot your own name, you're a weirdy there, Weber. There's a reason why I stopped talking to you a long time ago. Okay, let's give it one more shot there, Weber. Give me a quest, or a game, or something not dumb. I guess it's not gonna happen, huh? I do wish winter would go away as well. Winter's the worst. It's been like minus 40 degrees this past week. Yesterday it was like minus 50 with the wind. It's been some of the coldest days of the year and it's just, it's gonna get worse because it's always the worst in February. And it's like, oh, I don't like this. The cold is the worst. Come on, Spike. Give me something to do. Ace, you give me a quest then. Wow, no one is giving me anything to do today, it seems. People are just completely without stuff that needs doing, which I guess is nice for them, but it's bad for me, who just wants to do nice things for people to make them happy. Oh well. Uh, we already talked to Pierce, I think, as well. Oh well, we talked to everyone, I think. Oh, we haven't talked to Caesar, I guess. I wasn't gonna forget you, Caesar. Yeah, so you've got nothing. Alright, well, I guess we'll go buy some flowers and go home. We get some free bells from Magical Glowy Spot. Thank you, Magical Glowy Spot. Alright. Excuse me, Mr. Nook. I need to buy some flowers. I'll take some tulips. And I should take some pansies. And I should take some cosmos. And I should take some more tulips. And we shall also take some pansies. Okay. Now let's get on that train before it pulls away. Please 
Please wait, Mr. Train. Don't pull away. Sometimes you do, and then it takes a stupidly long sequence, and I don't want to wait for that. That's just unpleasant. Alright, let's go. Into the train. Hey, and because we're wearing the same colors as the train, maybe Rover won't see us this time. We'll be invisible. And he'll leave us alone. Oh, it's the dream. Okay, so we are currently blending in with the chairs. Rover will have no reason to sit by us because he won't see us, and it will just be awesome. He's looking at us, but he doesn't see us. Oh god, he's talking to us. But he doesn't see us, he must be talking to himself. He must be imagining that we exist because he's just so lonely and we're the only people who have talked to him. That's the only possible explanation. Because we are just so well hidden. So we succeeded in not having to deal with Rover today. I will consider that a victory. There's not a lot we need to do tonight, so I think we'll probably just plant the flowers and go. Uh, like I said, I will be doing Mario before I go to bed, but I still got some extra stuff I gotta do before then. Hey, we got a letter from the HRA telling me my house is crappy. What else is new? Still no new villagers. Really kind of bizarre that we're not getting any new villagers. I mean, I know that visiting the next town sort of halts that, but even so, I've taken basically like two days off away from this and yet still nothing. And and there's multiple times where it's just, okay, there's been a day of a gap and there really should be some new people coming to this village, but there just aren't, it's really weird. I will take this. You can always use more fossils. Plant this here. Plant that there. And that's lined up perfectly. Plant that. Plant that. Plant this. And plant this. Alright. Might swing by coppers just to see if anything's going on with him. Anything new happening, Copper? Anything at all that I should know about? Uh, Katrina's gonna be in town. I do not care for Katrina, though, because she just ruins things, but thank you for the tip. Get rid of that. And get rid of this. And also this. That has to definitely get rid of. Get rid of that. Alright, and I think that will be it for tonight for Animal Crossing. Like I said, I will be back to do Mario in probably an hour or two at most, but I hope you enjoyed, and if you did follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every single night, plus Mario during the day and other stuff when I happen at a time, you might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon, support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is blending with trains so that Rover doesn't talk to me. We found a way to defeat him, other than just completely emulating his style and frustrating him to all ends. We have found a way to defeat him, and that's the important thing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.